Good morning, I'm Andrea Guzman. And I'm Ethan Cates. Today is February 18th, 2022, and we're coming to you from one of the most culturally diverse cities on the West Coast, Long Beach, California. The ideal place to push past our limits at this year's STN convention. Voted one of America's most walkable cities, Long Beach is rich in arts, culture, and welcomes people from all walks of life. It is the perfect spot to host the biggest student broadcast journalism convention in the United States. On today's show, we'll take a look into how a small motel handles the struggles that come with the business of residing in a large city. How women in the food industry still provide great service even though they are facing unfriendly workplace environments. How a local coffee shop tries to create a unique service to stand out from their competition. And how a thrift store gives back to the community through acts of kindness. Get ready STN, because Bobcat Broadcast starts now. With high season travel around the corner, hotels have been getting busier every day. The Belmont Shore Inn is ready to stand up and compete against the big franchise hotels around Long Beach with a smile on their face. Matthew Milian will give us more. With high season traveling about to begin, hotels have been getting busier even during the pandemic. With things settling back into place, the Belmont Shore Inn in Long Beach is ready to take on that challenge. My name is Navin Bhai M. Patel and my position of this property is the manager. This is a very small uh, boutique inn, so we do not uh, provide uh, breakfast and, and subtle service or whatever, but the rest of the all, we try to give a good service. In fact, the inn has made roughly $600,000 renovations to its 15 units to give it a more modern look, despite the unfortunate challenges they had when COVID struck the area. That's why business is a little bit so slow. It's that uh, sanitizing the room. 99.99% people happy with our service. Nonetheless, the Belmont Shore Inn continues to get back on track to grow and improve. For STN, this has been Matthew Milian reporting. Nearly one in three Americans had their first job at a restaurant. The issue, however, is that not all workers are valued the same. Chloe Martin can tell us about how waitresses have to put up a facade to offer great service even though they are facing struggles in the workplace environment. The food industry is a place that generally anyone can work in, no matter your gender. But that doesn't mean that all workers are valued or appreciated the same. Statistics show that women made 88 cents the dollar that men earned in 2020, even though the food industry consists of about 45% males and 48% females, female-dominated. So why isn't it equal? Not only are these females underpaid, but 62% of workers have experienced emotional abuse or disrespect from customers, while 49% said they experienced emotional abuse from their managers, according to a Black Box article. Although these workers are undervalued and underpaid, they still go to work with a smile on their face and a positive attitude towards their guests. So next time you're at a restaurant, be kind. For SDN, this has been Chloe Martin. Still to come on Bobcat Broadcast, Nicholas Gallen uncovers the story behind the service provided at the local coffee shop, Rose Park. This and more after a quick break. I try and live by a standard of, uh, you know, leave more on this planet than you take. My daily interaction with people, I know how hard it is out there and I feel very lucky and grateful that I get to come to a job. I have a roof over my head, food in my belly. So I try and bring, you know, that light and that joy to people I meet out on the street as well. Because a lot of people, you know, they don't have it so easy. People fall on hard times. So I like to bring some light knit and some levity and some laughter too. Welcome back. Long Beach homes some of the best coffee roasters in California. Roast Park is one of these local coffee shops run by a small group of caring people who are constantly finding new ways to better their service. Nicholas Gallen can spill the beans. Rose Parks is a small local coffee shop that works in unique ways to bring a smile to their customers' faces as well as set them apart from all of the local businesses nearby. 
I think we're a lot more friendly than everywhere else. We're, we try to make you feel like you're cared for when you walk in here. And that starts from even before you walk in here. That starts from like our roasting, um, which happens locally, and it's done with a lot of care. Creating a caring atmosphere for all of their customers, they make sure that they can provide the friendliest experience for everyone as soon as they walk through the door. When we make the drinks, when we interact with our customers, we just want to make sure that you feel like you're cared for and you're getting a good experience. And pretty much no matter what, we just want to make sure that everybody leaves here happy. That's, that's kind of it. <laughs> never lacking interest while also working and interacting with their customers in a way that brings everyone inside comfort is what isolates Rose Parks from all of the local cafes and jobs in their area. For STN, this has been Nicholas Gallen reporting. As we enjoy the sights and sounds of Long Beach, California, we also like to take a look into the hidden gems of the city, the people. Assistance League gathers volunteers to help give back to children and adults in the community. Store manager Tammy Klein gives us more on her story in this next segment. So the Assistance League of Long Beach Thrift and Vintage Shop um, is a major fundraiser for Assistance League of Long Beach, which is a nonprofit. We work a lot with Long Beach Unified School District to provide extra services for them, like school uniforms, um, low-cost brace programs, and we have nine other programs. One of them is also a literacy program. We have over a hundred volunteers who come in and work the shop um, on average once, once to four times a month. So we really get to know our customers. Sometimes we're carrying things to their car or helping dress them for a special occasion. Um, you know, sometimes they're sending baby clothes to family members. Without people coming through our door, we wouldn't be able to do what we do in supporting Assistance League of Long Beach. Our ability and my ability to be able to serve them with a smile, maybe I'm the only person who smiled at them that day. And if I can make them smile and they can make someone else smile, then our whole community is better. Well, that wraps up for today's show. This has been Ethan Cates and Andrea Guzman. Thank you for watching and from all of us here at WBTV, have a great convention.